Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another squad builder here on Ultimate Team on FIFA 14 and we're going to have this time, rather than a Liga 1 squad, which we had before, which as you can see is on the bench, etc. We're going to have a Liga BBVA team again, around about a 10k cost, one of the earliest squads that I've made. I've only played a couple of games for this one as well, as opposed to not having played at all with the previous squad. So I can give you some sort of insight as to how good these players are to, uh, to help you build a starter squad. But in goal, as you can see, we're going to have Guita from Valencia, 80 diving. 81 handling, 85 reflexes and 79 positioning are his standout stats. He was very, very good on Ultimate Team in FIFA 13. And again, he is a very, very solid and reliable goalkeeper in FIFA 14. So definitely for a cheap price, around about five or 600 coins, you could pick him up for now. And uh, definitely will keep many a clean sheet for you. Then into the defence, we'll start on the left with Antunes or Antunes. Uh, 84 pace, 74 defending, 74 passing, 73 dribbling. Unfortunately, his heading isn't that good, which uh, hopefully won't come into play that much as a wing back. But it's always nice to have a player that is all round half decent. But uh, the pace plays a big part, as you may imagine, with uh, with a wing back. But uh, still, defensive wise, he's very, very, very reliable. He will put his foot in for those uh, those tackles and cut out those interceptions for those through balls as well. And on the right-hand side of him, we're going to have Ricardo Costa, Valencia teammate, linking up very well with the goalkeeper as well. Uh, 64 pace, 77 defending, and 87 heading. He is a monster in the air. And uh, I'm recording this pre-headers and finesse shots patch, and he is absolutely brutal in the air. So if uh, the patch isn't out by the time you see this, definitely pick him up, because he will score you some goals, and uh, he will definitely help to uh, defend against those sorts of situations when it comes to uh, defending corners etc. And then on the other side of him we're going to have Hector Moreno, a very very strong physical player that suits FIFA 14 wonderfully. I've signed him on my Tottenham career mode as well. 70 pace, 77 defending and 81 heading are his standout stats and he is again a very reliable defender. And then on the right side of him one of the uh, the few options at right back that aren't Dani Alves or João Pereira, uh, Iraola or Iraola, 79 pace, 78 defending, 74 passing and dribbling. Again, heading not the best, but uh, he is extremely solid. Actually, my go-to Spanish right back, to be completely honest. And uh, considering I enjoy playing with him so much, I decided to pop him in here as opposed to João Pereira. And uh, then into the midfield, we're going to have as I. Finally, flick round to Bruno. It's nice to have Villarreal back in La Liga, and Bruno is one of their holding mid. 63 pace, 79 defending, and 75 passing. Not the tallest, not the strongest, but very, very good on the ball. His touch and pass are very, very good indeed, as well as his ability to be able to pick out those through balls and stop them from going through your back line at the same time. And then on his left hand side, we're going to have Javi Fuego. Again, another Valencia player involved in this squad. 66 pace, 74 passing, 78 defending. Very, very similar to Bruno, and they complement each other perfectly. Both sat in those holding roles in this second, uh, kind of second option for the 4-2-3-1 formation. Both of them very, very good holding mids. And then sat in front of them at Cam, rather than CF this year in a 4-2-3-1, it's a Cam, which is a different option but probably helps to uh, to bulk out the midfield a little bit more than having a centre forward is of course Adrian was a striker last year he's been dropped to Cam at Fulton team this year even though in uh, career mode he is still a striker I think but 85 pace and 85 dribbling are obviously his standout stats uh, 73 shot is decent his finesse shot is okay but not the best but uh, his rifled shot his lace shot is actually pretty decent still so uh, he will score you goals from sat behind the, uh, the main striker on the left hand side we're going to have Christian Rodriguez 80 pace, 80 passing, 80 dribbling 75 shots, 71 heading a fantastic all round winger quite physically bulky and strong as well so we'll be able to hold off the uh, the wing backs and the defenders as he's pushing forward down that left hand side and uh, kind of counteracts the fact that he doesn't have that much pace pace on the other hand or the other side rather, is definitely a factor for Faguli. 84 pace, 86 dribbling, 77 passing and 72 shot. On FIFA 13 Ultimate Team, I wasn't that keen on him. However, this year, his touch is superb and his passing, even though it's only 77 on the card, is pretty decent. His crossing is uh, exceptional actually, I found, anyway, on a personal level. So uh, I would definitely recommend that you pick him up on the right-hand side. He cost me about 1,500 coins. Then up top on his own is Ruben Castro. Obviously had a team of the season card last year. Had a very, very good year in La Liga with Real Betis. 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 75 shot. So, so powerful. The shot is so good again this year. 
four star weak foot I think if my memory serves me no three star weak foot however the left foot does feel very powerful even though it is only three star does feel like a four star weak foot and he is a fantastic finisher obviously his uh, his profile was raised a little bit last year not many people had heard of him until we got like a team of the season etc so he is still quite expensive I had to pay 1500 coins to bring in uh, Ruben Castro into this squad but that is the squad builder part of this video done guys so please still feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind as with the legal one squad there will be a video later today which will be a live commentary of me playing a game with this team so I uh, hope you look forward to that one it will be in your sub boxes later on this evening and uh, yeah leave a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time